Hey guys, I'm That Fat Guy and today is day 500 since I have started my weight loss journey in this channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about five things that I have learned along my journey that have helped me change my life for the better. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm That Fat Guy, aka Ash. If you are new here, this was me when I first started my weight loss journey back in January 2020, 500 days ago. I was well over 160 kilos and I was just an absolute mess in terms of physical and mental health. And I decided to make a great big change, start this YouTube channel, start the man shake and to, uh, change my life for the better. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments down below, but not before you like this video and subscribe if you can. The first thing that I want to reflect on today is how unhappy I really was. And this kind of thing doesn't really happen to you until you're a couple of months into your journey where you have time to sit and actually look back at where you were and what direction that you were heading into. So if I kept going in the direction that I was, I would have had uh, type 2 diabetes by now. Um, I would have to be on a CPAP machine, which is um, for obstructive sleep apnea. Um, my um, beautiful fiance, our relationship was on the strain. Um, she couldn't sleep in the same bed as me because of my snoring, because of uh, just all of that. And I was unhappy with myself. I was really starting to get really anxious and depressed. and. I could see that affecting the relationships of people around me and even my job. So things weren't good, right? Uh, and I, I look back now and I'm thinking, thank God I've made a change because now, like, I have no threat of diabetes at the moment, right? I have um, turned around my obstructive sleep apnea. Uh, I do not snore anymore at all, right? So Angie's, yeah back in the same bed with me which is fantastic um, and I'm feeling good about myself I'm feeling confident in who I am again and it has led me to want to go out more and you know associate with people and be in social situations a lot more than what I was back uh, before January 2020 um, and th the best advice that I can give to you guys on this is that if you are going to start a weight loss journey, sit down and write yourself a list of the ways you feel about yourself, uh, whether it be, you know, when you go clothes shopping or in social situations or just how you feel when you look in the mirror. Write how you feel emotionally. Write it down and have this list available to you that you can refer to back at any time so that if you start to waver, you can look back at this list and go, damn, I don't want to start feeling that way again. Or Oh, that's a good reminder as to why I'm doing this and maybe you can build that motivation back up to keep going. The second thing that I want to share with you guys is how good smartwatches and Fitbits can be for motivation, right? I had this well and truly before my weight loss journey. Um, and yeah, it, it measures your heart rate, it measures your steps, it makes phone calls, it tells the time, but it also tells me notifications I get and all that kind of stuff, right? Ever since getting a smartwatch, I can't live without it. It's fantastic. But I never understood how beneficial it can be for me when it comes to fitness and keeping myself moving, right? And it may sound silly, but well, I set myself a very early goal in my weight loss journey. I set a goal of 6,000 steps a day that I need to reach. And because I had this on me all the time, it was counting my steps. And there were times that I'd be sitting there just being all fat and just like, you know, just going on with my day. I look down at my watch and it will say 2,300 steps for the day. And it was like already mid afternoon. Uh, and it would kind of really kick me into gear and go, huh. I better get up and go out for a walk. I recommend getting one of these. Uh, they they work so well. They they if you got a Samsung one, it syncs to your um, uh, Samsung Health. Uh, you can track everything on your phone. Uh, and a huge thing for me as well is watching my heart rate go down. So as a resting heart rate, I was anywhere between uh, 80 to 100 beats a minute sitting on the couch. Right, I could feel my heart beating in my chest like some afternoons. Like it just that's not good. And uh, I'm now uh, anywhere between I think it was like. 
um, 60 and 70 beats a minute now. And I worked out on average, I've saved myself 20 beats a minute. And over the course of a year, no word of a lie, it's like 20 million beats. And when you think of your heart being a muscle, it would only have a finite amount of beats in it. How much time have I added onto my lifespan by losing this weight? The third thing that I want to talk to you today about is walking. Walking. Like before this weight loss journey, I always thought to lose weight you needed to, you know, eat really well and you needed to do all sorts of crazy workout routines. You needed to go to the gym, have these, you know, um, sessions that go for a few hours. You need to do push-ups, sit-ups, and do all sorts of stuff to keep yourself active. And really, I've learned from this journey that that is by far the wrong way of thinking, right? Um, the gym and the fitness industry have you believing this because they want you to spend the money. And I'm not some sort of uh, conspiracy theorist here, but it's true, it's true. People, they want you to believe that you need to sign up for the gym, you need to buy the fitness clothing, you need to do all sorts of stuff to help you lose weight. And yeah, it can be great sources of motivation. I love personally going to the gym, I love working out, but I've made it um, my own, like, it's my, been my own decision to not do it this time at all because I want to share with you a journey where someone hasn't done that and they've still been successful with weight loss. And that's true. It is 100% true. All I've done is walk every single day, minus a few sessions of yoga, uh, a few few times, and the man challenge. I went to the gym once uh, during my weight loss journey, um, but then I instantly knew that uh, my brain was instantly like, oh, I need to push heavier, I need to push heavier, and I know that that's a bad track for me because I would start gaining weight from muscle and I don't want to get confused. Adam McDougall said to himself that walking is so underappreciated for what it is. Like, If you are in a, a situation where you can walk and you can start off by walking, you know, 10, 15 minutes, half an hour, and then push yourself to eventually get to an hour once you start, you know, losing more and more weight, it's an exercise that is easy on your joints. It comes naturally to us to walk um, and you can do it for some time and keep an elevated workout, like an elevated heart rate for like over an hour. So walking 100% is, I, I have a whole new appreciation for walking and the difference that it can make. The fourth thing I want to talk about today is balance, lifestyle balance. And this is something that I have never learned before, before this weight loss journey, right? Um, I, being young, you know, and just always thinking about, oh, I need to go to the gym, I need to lift weights, I need to, you know, eat um, steamed chicken with brown rice and broccoli. Um, that was always my thought process when it comes to weight loss. And it was always a pitfall for me because I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't like what I was doing and I was uh, always falling off the wagon after my motivation eventually wore off um, after about a few weeks to a month. Um, especially if something happened in my life, like if I got sick or um, I had to go to a party or you know I had to go away or something like that, uh, something would change and then I'd never get back onto schedule. And the man shake and the community around it and everything like that has taught me balance is needed and the, like I'm not just talking about just celebration meals or cheat meals as most people call it um, I have a celebration meal every week I have KFC um, or something else uh, I allow myself to have a few beers here and there and it has allowed me to kind of keep that balance and enjoy the things that I want to do so whether it be a weekend with the boys you know out uh, having a few drinks and um, you know, e eating a bit outside my my norm or whether whether it be sitting back watching the footy sinking a few cold ones and you know having some chips so be it right um, you're not going to undo all the good that you've done you know, just by having one afternoon watching the footy and having a few beers. It just doesn't work that way. Um, you can, it will slow your results, but it's important to teach yourself balance throughout your weight loss journey so that when you do eventually stop, you don't get back into the old routines. You're not suddenly, a, you know, um, a, a horse let out of its pen to run wild and then, you know, do all the other horses you know what I'm saying it's just like that that's just you know because like if you exclude yourself from McDonald's and all those things that you really like to eat and you never touch them what happens when you have the first one you, you may just fall back into that routine so teach yourself that balance 
um, has been a huge, huge plus in my column. And uh, this is why I've been able to go 500 days and uh, still be losing weight. It's great. And the final thing that I want to talk about, and it isn't really so much a lesson that people out there are so beautiful and so supportive and I just love my community that I've built here on this channel. Um, you guys uh, that come to my live streams, that comment on my videos, that like my videos, that go to the effort to subscribe and click that bell icon, you guys, like, it means so much to me that you join me on this journey and it, you, I cannot describe on how much you guys have helped me be successful because I keep myself publicly accountable to you guys and I want to do the best for you guys because I know that there are people out there that draw on my channel and the other ambassadors and whatnot for a bit of motivation to keep them going. Um, <laughs> the fact that you do it just still blows me away. But because of you guys, I am where I am today and I honestly cannot thank you enough. So I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for being with me for these 500 days. Uh, here's to the next 500. I'm really hoping that I will get under this 100 kilo mark very soon for you guys. And I'm excited to see where this channel leads me. So if you have some friends out there that you know might, might enjoy watching my stuff or you know want to hit me up in the email down below, just please share around this video. Uh, it means the world to me. I love every single one of you. There's nothing you can do about it. See you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.